Hello and welcome. In this video we'll check out the process to machine this part. We'll be creating this part in two setups, part 1 and part 2. Now in part 2 we'll be using Iskar's chatter free carbide end mills to rough and finish this part and we'll also be using Mastercam's high speed toolpaths to take advantage of the increased feed rates we can use with these chatter free cutters. Now this is the half inch diameter chatter free three flute carbide end mill in action on this part. The Mastercam toolpath being used here is 2D high speed dynamic area. The depth of cut is half an inch. Now the maximum RPM on this machine is 4000 RPM. The cutting feed rate that you're looking at is 133 inches per minute. Let's take a look at the two setups to machine this part. For the first setup, the material blank has already been face milled on the bottom surface. The first setup will face to thickness, spot drill, drill, and ream the three holes. The part will be held in a machine vise for this set of machining operations. Now, the second setup will be to transfer the part machined in part one and locate and fasten the part to a fixture to complete the remaining operations. Let's check out the machining of this first setup. That's part one. Now the part is loaded into the vise and to begin with a face mill is used to machine the part to thickness. Following the face mill operation the three holes are spot drilled. The holes are then drilled 2364th diameter that's 0.359 diameter and the holes are being peck drilled. And finally all three holes are reamed 0.375 diameter and we're feed in feed out for a good finish on these holes. Let's check out the second stage now. Now the material from part one is secured to the fixture using two shoulder bolts. X0, Y0 is the center of this hole. Now Z0 for part two is the top of the fixture. Let's check out the cutters used on part two. I'll be using Iskar's chatter free end mills, half inch and quarter inch diameter to rough and finish the pockets and contour of this part. Now this is a screenshot from the Iskar website and these are the details of the half inch diameter chatter free end mill. They are designed to maximize material removal while minimizing tool wear. Now this is the quarter inch diameter chatter free carbide end mill used to finish the large and small pockets. This is the chamfer cutter used to machine a small chamfer on the edges of the part and it's a half inch diameter carbide. The center drill is used to engrave letters inside the large pocket. Let's check out the machining of the second setup, that's part two. The Mastercam toolpath being used here is 2D high speed dynamic area. I'm using a half inch diameter Iskar chatter free end mill to rough the large pocket and machine around and finish the top surface of the 0.875 diameter boss using the island face facing function as it's at a different height. 
A helix entry motion to sink to depth is being used here. The pocket depth is half an inch. Now the top of the boss is being machined. Now after the pocket I use the same chatter free end mill to rough the outside of the part. Now the master cam toolpath being used here is 2D high speed dynamic core. The depth of cut is 0.7 and the feed rate is 133 inches per minute. The half inch diameter chatter free Iskar end mill will be used to finish machine the outside profile using the contour toolpath. So here's our roughing operation and next up this is our finish contour toolpath. and there's our contour complete. Now up next a quarter inch diameter Iskar chatter free end mill is used to rough and finish the small pocket. Now the pocket depth is 0.187 and helical entry motion is used to sink to depth. The feed rate here is 100 inches per minute. Now after the small pocket has been rough machined I use the same chatter free end mill to finish machine the boss and the large pocket. Now this is completed at two depths. Here comes our second depth. As you can see we're climb milling around the boss and climb milling the inside pocket. Now this is the small pocket being finished machined. And this is the chamfer cutter used to machine a small chamfer on the edges of the part and it's a half inch diameter carbide. And finally a centre drill is used to engrave the word master cam in the large pocket. And nearly finished off our letters here. And we're all done.